ourselves are students of tasawwuf the subject of tasawwuf and with Allah's blessings Allah's mercy we are on a journey with a special objective we are occupied with a special objective and we do dua in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah ta'ala takes us safely to our destination so that we can meet our objective now, if we see a unique point, if we consider, this Ajis, this humble, humble servant has experienced this in his own life, myself. Because if we have a khanqa where the muridin, the students go to their sheikh to do their tarbiyah, to improve themselves and there's a spiritual connection, that place is called a khanqa. And... The Sheikh he does the tarbiya, he improves his students and according to the principles of the Sawuf, he teaches his students and he purifies them internally, spiritually. And this place is called a khanqa, the teaching place. And in the khanqa there's a unique factor, an element. And this Ajis, humble servant, spent a lot of time in, in my own Sheikh's khanqa and I experienced this which has come today in my mind, into my heart. In my mind, this is a very essential point in this path of the Sawuf. One is the Kamil Sheikh, the complete Sheikh, who has a high status, the all round complete Sheikh. But in seeing him from experience, and I've seen this myself, I've seen this and experienced this, that the amount of murids and students there are, everyone's condition, circumstances, and situation is different and unique. The Fez is coming from one Sheikh. The benefit is coming from one sheikh to the student. Just take a well, for example. And everybody is drinking water from that well. And everybody's thirst should be quenched equally, isn't it? Comparatively. But here we have one sheikh, the Kamil sheikh. But all the muridin, the students, their situation, their factors that need to be considered are different. Somebody is in a different position, in a different situation, is surrounded by different challenges in life. What's the reason for this? What's the reason for this? So the well is giving water, it's giving the water, it's providing the water, whoever puts in the container takes the water and drinks, and the shaykh is the same in tasawwuf. The teacher is the same, the shaykh is giving fares and blessings and benefit to every murid, to every student, alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah. But then why is there a difference in the circumstance, the position, the status of each of the muridin, the students, and tasawwuf teachers, this is a key point that we need to listen to. The difference amongst the students and the most important factor here in tasawwuf is the niyyah, the intention of the human being, the intention. The whole matter of success hinges on intention. Take the well, a person is left thirsty or half thirsty or he fully quenches his thirst. The reason is that they're containers are different that are coming into the well. The person who has a big container takes away more water, mashallah, he's drinking that volume of water. He's not just drinking the water, rather he's giving more water himself in turn to others. And the person who has a small container, the poor soul, he stays thirsty himself, then how will he give water to others to quench the thirst? So a person who doesn't even have the container, then he's just looking at the well and he will stay thirsty. So the sheikh, with the sheikh, with the kamil sheikh, the situation of the murids, the students is the same. It's the same. The sheikh is there and he's ready to give to everyone. But why is, this, why is every student 
benefiting differently it depends on the knee of each student how is that person sitting what is the desire what intention has that student come with what is intention with the sheikh and everything comes away from that intention all results hinge on that intention alhamdulillah praise be to Allah the student who comes to the teacher with the correct niya the sincere niya the more sincere the more correct the intention is the more the student will take away there will be nothing lacking in the results so this is the reason why in the khanka of a sheikh, different students have different positions in their progression. This doesn't mean that someone's doing more dhikr, he's more of a muttaqi, he's more faithful of Allah, he's keeping more fast, he's more pious. The reason is for this reason that we discussed, the element of the niya. We don't look at the, the, the physical actions that each student is doing. Yes, I've seen this myself, that there were students who did a lot of dhikr, who stayed in the khanka a lot, they struggled a lot, made efforts, and in comparison to that, there's an individual who, he didn't make much effort, he wasn't in the khanka much, but he was higher in status, in darajat, they had status. That's it. The reason for this is what? The reason for this was based on solely the niya of the student. What was the intention of the student? The whole result basis, the key point of the soul of my friends, we are making effort, let's not waste it. All success hinges on what? The niya, the intention of the student. If the sheikh is again similar to the well and our niya is similar again to the container, the bigger and broader the container is, the more water it can draw. On the day of judgment tomorrow, we cannot complain to Allah that Allah, I had a great sheikh, you sent me to, and I stayed as a loser. I didn't get your marifa, your nenis, your love, your qurb inside. I stayed as a lover of the world. What's the reason for this? The reason for this is that, what was my niya? What was my intention? Was my niya correct? The, the way I had the niya, that's how I could have eaten the fruits. I would like to share with you an event, an incident that comes to mind. And the person who stated this was a great Shaykh Gamal has a father Lali Qurayshi Rahmatullah alayhi wa alayhi mercy be upon him. And he narrated this incident to his murids, to his students who were from amongst his students, Subhanallah, Hazrat Ali Murtaza, Maddazallah Ali, who was my Shaykh. He was the murid of Hazrat Fadal Ali Quraysh. So he was a Kamil Shaykh, Hazrat Fadal Ali Quraysh. And his student, from his students was Hazrat Maksumi Rahmatullah alayhi, who from his time and generation, he was from one of the great Aqabirin and sheikhs of his time. And in his Khanka, at one time, there were uh, three individuals who came to become read, Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Three men came together at once to become students. They came to become murids and they wanted to make a spiritual connection with their sheikh. So Hazrat, he... Uh, created that connection, established that connection, the spiritual link with each of the students and gave them bayah, uh, gave them the Pledge of Allegiance. So they continued to come to the Khan, because as I said, each student has different status and progression that the first student from amongst the three, he after some days passed away. And in which way did he pass away? That he was a non-believer at that time, non-Muslim. He had left his mother, his deen, and he entered into another deen, into another religion, and he passed away in that state of disbelief. In uh, The other individual who was the marid of the shaykh who came with him at that time, when he passed away, then he had iman, but consider he died in a position of poor iman, very poor condition, he left this world in, enveloped, surrounded in, in sins. The third murid, the student who came at the same time as the other two to become the murid, in which condition was he at the time of death? Then he became the house of his time, and he was Abdul Qadir Jalani Rahmatullah. Amazing. Subhanallah. Say Subhanallah. Subhanallah. So he became a great individual personality, and his statement, his statement which is famous and popular, Qadmi ala ragbati kulli ala waliya. That my footstep that my feet is at the uh, the neck of every the wali of every every wali of that generation so each student came same time the three had the same sheikh they had the tarbi at the same time the khanka was the same the teaching was the same the dhikr was one the explanation was one the education was one the color of the tazkiyah improvement rectification was one but why such a big difference so this is that learning my friends just like we all sat together and this color I saw the same in Hazrat's khanka my own teacher's khanka personally I saw the effects it was such a big khanka alhamdulillah and the great personalities used to come there to attain faith blessings 
And this is very cautious we have to be. This is not a joke. The soul of having the link with the sheikh is not a joke. It's not a pastime. It's not a hobby. In the same sheikh, at the same time, a person dies as a kafir student. A person dies in a bad state of a man. And one, he became the ghusl adam of his time. Each of them had the same dhikr. Prescribed to him that the the attention was the same on each of them. The reason, the reason that somebody asked Hazrat, that you, you experienced and he experienced and Hazrat saw that he put his hands together and said, Hazrat, what's this? What happened here? What's the difference between each of you, the three of you? That so much difference amongst the murids, the difference in their status, this distance in their level. And Hazrat Sheikh stated, Hazrat Abu Sayyid Makhzumi, rahmatullah who narrated this incident, he says, not my fault, it was their own fault. Subhanallah. Say Subhanallah. The Shaykh said that it's not my fault. The fault is of the students themselves. What could I have done? What could I have done? That when they came to that place of learning and they didn't understand that place of learning, they didn't realize. The first individual who came, the student, who died as a non-believer, without Iman, at that time he was a big alim, a scholar when he came to uh, the sheikh in the initial time, the first time. When he came to his sheikh, then his niya, his intention was that what am I going to do with this spiritual connection? I'm an alim, I am a scholar. I am uh, a scholar, I have a muhaddith and I have titles, I teach hadith and I have got the knowledge and people recognize me, acclaim me. So he came and with a bad method he had the company of the sheikh. It wasn't his objective to Islam. Rather, he thought he came to teach his sheikh. I'll take the mistakes of the sheikh. Where does he make mistakes? What hadith is he narrating wrong? Which are da'if? Which are weak? How is he going to say, I'm going to catch the sheikh and correct him because I have better knowledge. So he wanted to criticize, find defects and cracks. Many people have this habit, don't they? I have knowledge. I'm the best. I will find the defects in others. Take out the weak points. Mm. You don't have this knowledge. This hadith wasn't sahih. Why did you share this incident? And not just this. He says to his shaykh, rather I will go to others and tell them that this shaykh don't believe in him. Hazrat Sahib didn't know this. This was a daif hadith. Subhanallah. Eh? And they didn't understand the mu'amala. Eh? The, the, the students saying this, the, oh, this is for scholars to share. Why is Hazrat saying these things? He doesn't have the ilm. Astaghfirullah. Who is saying this waqia? This event? What a great shaykh. Fazal Ali Qureshi rahmatullah alayhi. Our grandfather Sheikh, this is how he did tarbiyah, and that's how Hazrat Ali Murtaza Ramadan graduated from his footsteps as a Malik Rahmatullah graduated from his footsteps. Seventy Khulafa of Hazrat Fazal Ali Quraysh, and everyone was a great Khalifa, great deputy. And he's narrating this incident. So he put they put their heads down. Everyone when they heard this event, when Hazrat Fazal Ali Quraysh there was mentioning this event, everyone's head was bowed. So he stated that scholar. That, oh, Mufti Yan used to be there. Hazrat Fazal Ibrahim, they had Muftis in his gathering, people from Hind, Pak, Indian subcontinent, great scholars and personalities. But he was the true Sheikh. He was the Sheikh wal Arab wal Ajab, the Sheikh of the Arabs and non Arabs. Then, Allah Ta'ala didn't, did he like this individual, this scholar who took bayah, and rather than having his own Islam, rectifying himself, he had shaitaniyat and he wanted to play games in his heart. And he came to get Allah's nenis, and he came to the maqam where Allah Ta'ala's ma'rifa nenis is distributed at the footsteps of the sheikh, where Allah's nenis is attained, where Allah's ma'rifa is seen visibly by students. He's gone to that fountain and he's doing these acts of shaitan, this student. So Allah Ta'ala, through that ilm, that same ilm he had pride on, he was stuck in the Messiah and his deen became weak and then he was given the taqwiyat, the strength of belief in the disbelief and he left Islam. Inna Allah ala kadir. What a big punishment, my friends. Imagine the extent. It's not a joke to go to the wali Allah to play games, to look down and ridicule the status of the wali. Allah grabs. What does that person become? He goes into a trap, into a ditch. The second man... Hazrat Sahib stated the second individual who became the student and he passed away in a bad state of mind. He was rich, he had wealth, he had mal. And he came with this thinking, oh, I'll give a bit of charity in the way of the deen. I'll give some money to Hazrat and let them maintain the khanka and pay for the food. And he had takabbur pride that I will sustain the khanka, I will buy out the sheikh 
and I'll give him gifts and I'll make Sheikh happy. I'll give him boxes of sweets and mitai and he'll come into my path. Allah, I'll give him some clothes and Hazrat will run after me and he will appreciate me and I'll be the best and the favorite. Oh, this happens in the dunya. These are the walis of Allah. They're simple people. They don't have no understanding. Yeah, oh, he'll give me khilafat and I'll be successful and I'll give him a thousand pounds to Sheikh for his expenses. Is this happening today or not? Tell me. Say it loudly. Yes. So today, you know, people say, where is the Suwuf gone? Where have the Walis of Allah gone? Where have the Peers gone? Where have the people gone? This dynasty is very ajeeb and unique. And when the Wali disappears, then that's why in the world there's no deen. That's why in the world there's no deen. In the hearts, people have Quran and ilm. Today, look at the actions of those who have ulum and Quran and ilm. The khankas, they sit in the khanka, they sit next to the, to the sheikh and they do haram actions, the men and the women. The reason for this is this, that... The individuals, the students don't value. This value, appreciation state, there's no khankas, there's no peed, there's no adab, no manas, just dunya. And, well, and today, the marid is closest to the sheikh who? Who has money and mal. Who wants to give to the sheikh who has the wealth and pomp and glory and status in the world. The sheikh today can't say nothing to that student. Yes, if he does something wrong, no, 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 no. He's a good man, he's got money, he's got status in the world, he's famous. No, he's not doing purposely. Oh, it's other people who are poor and uh, they, they, they've, they've hit him and made him go, oh, do wrong. The people of the world have forced him to do wrong and haram and defraud and deceive. He's not wrong, say people to the man who's wealthy, astaghfirullah. But in the real Khanga, this has happened. And when the beats go, then they distribute it to everybody equally and everyone's head is laid bare isn't it yes isn't it my friend yes but this today we don't have in the khankas today who wants to go to the khanka I need a khalafat within a minute I want to be the deputy of the sheikh within two minutes people become khalifas today we've gone next day he says that I'm the khalifa of this sheikh I went to his company I'm this and he's distributed to me the deputization and on the pieces of paper they write and publicize that I'm a khalifa and I've started to teach dhikr Allahu Akbar so what does that person become? Then he has become devoid of Iman. Devoid of Iman because his niya was spoilt. So my friends, even if for example we have the maqam of the qurb, the nenes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, hair, not even a hair's width and atom's weight of niya should be contaminated. Why? Because in the company of the shaykh, Allah Ta'ala has said a very great principle of the soul, that ma'rifah, the nainis of Allah, Allah's qurb, the walis of Allah, they look with the vision of ma'rifah, the nainis to Allah. When you go to the wali Allah's company, then control your heart when you go to the wali Allah. Because Allah has given them understanding. And they are stars. They keep themselves hidden. But they know everything about the condition of the student. And the person which with niya has he come. And what does he do? Niya is everything hinges on niya, on intention. Person's weak, okay, he's not progressing, he commits sins. Everything is there. But when he goes to his sheikh, then he should be 100% clear niya intention with the sheikh. He shouldn't be playing games. The link with the sheikh should be pure and clear and sincere. Because if from you go to the well and your, your niya is sincere, then you will get the water from the well. But if your intention is wrong, then the well will not give you water. You can stay there all life long, but you get nothing. In the end, a person dies as a kafir or as uh, without iman, or he's committing sins, he's devoid of iman, he's dying in the state of haram or deceit or in a bad condition. Why? Because when he used to go to the sheikh, he used to criticize the sheikh or, or backbite against him or speak bad against him in his home or point fingers at him or say he's wrong. No. Can he be saved? As a sheikh stated that this was the consequence. The third individual who became, when Hazrat Abdul Qadir Jalani Ramdari presented himself to a sheikh, then he was all normal person. He came with the intention. He came with the other truth. And he said, I didn't say anything to him. But when he put his footsteps into my khanka, subhanallah, said the sheikh, then the niya, his intention was testified. The, the angels were witness to his clear niya. Say subhanallah. He said, I didn't say nothing. The angels testified that his pure niya has come this individual. After many decades, a person like this comes to the khanka. Subhanallah. After many, many years, a sheikh, a camel sheikh, if he stands and announces in that one night, that I've given everything to the students. Subhanallah. Say Subhanallah. Subhanallah. After decades, an individual comes like this. Not normal. It's not common. It's not common. If you want to see this color in the Wali of Allah's Khanka, where there are thousands of people sat, and after hours a man departs and the Shaykh raises his hands and says, I've given everything to this person. Allahu Akbar. Abdul Qadir Jalani rahmatullahi What a maqam the Shaykh must have given to such a student if he comes like that, a man. What a maqam he must have. Then. But this is dunya we're living. This is a dunya. 
And who looks at these things in the dunya? Who looks inside at what was there? This is dahir. We look at external things. External things we look at. Outwardly. Who takes benefit and advantage out of these benefits at the footsteps of the shaykh? He stated that his niyyah was pure and from the heavens came the witnesses, the angels who testified that his niyyah is pure. So for example, I'll become dust and sand, but I will depart with Allah's qurb. This was his niyyah from the, the footsteps of my shaykh. Company. Allah sent me to the company of my shaykh and Allah has given me everything. And I'll become fana he must. And he, he broomed the khanka and his shaykh said, there was no service that this student didn't do mine. He obeyed me, did my khidmah. Day and night he spent the time in my khidmah. He swept the khanka, cleaned the khanka. He, uh, everything he did, his efforts, his personal time and efforts he gave, he annihilated himself personally with his time, he annihilated his time, his efforts, his crushed his desires and he served the khanka and the shaykh. Allahu Akbar. And this was the statement, what a great maqam he said, that all of the walis he said, they are at the bottom of my feet, my feet is on the neck of the, of the walis of this time, he said Hazrat Abdul Qadir Jalalai. My brothers, this showed that he had a great status, this statement. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this dunya gives everybody an opportunity. Everybody making money, wealth, earning dunya. Their niyas can be different. In every place the niya can alter. If you're shaking someone's hand, you don't know, is he come to get a loan or charity or to love you or to get bayah to you? You don't know. What's the niya? This is dunya. We're in the world. And according to the world, you cannot realize the knee of a person. Does he come to get the hand of the marriage of someone? Or how does he come in this or business sense or muhabbat or love? A person has dunya inside him that doesn't come out. It's hidden inside. And everyone's hidden their intentions behind the veils. And people utilize methods. Does he come for a loan? Or does he come to play tricks and games? And this is happening. The whole world This can carry on and this will continue. Allah doesn't say anything. But where Allah's marifa comes into question, Allah's love is being given exchange. Allah says, then I do not accept the poor knee intentional says I grab the poor near because this is my situation. This is my friend who we're talking about here, my wali. And here I will not be let people off the uh, lightly. In the dunya you can play tricks and play games. You could have ten different intentions at what time you're deceiving people. Eight years, ten years, people have links. Six years they show love and demonstrate. They meet and they put their they have a knife in under the armpits when they meet. How are you? Are you fine? Tik tak? Is everything okay? And they'll meet you, they'll bow down and meet you with love. Allah says, this and carry on and continue this in the dunya. Was this the name of the dunya? To deceive. To deceive, do fraud. Deceive people, take someone's money, stretch them. Whatever you want to do. But, but beware. Beware. Allah says, the khanqa, the spiritual hospital. These are my places, my bases. Allah Ta'ala says, and this is where I distribute my marifa, my nearness and my love. To the masses. This is the fountain of my marif. Allah says, and the Sheikh who sat in the Khanka, Allah says that he is selected by me who distributes my marif in the world, says Allah. The Sheikh, the teacher. Don't play games with the Sheikh, Allah says. Don't have contaminated niya with the Sheikh. Come here as human beings, not animals. He wants anything to you, but Allah says, I will deal with you. Correctly. That if you if you try to deceive the Shaykh and you criticize his Quran, his ilm, his status, you haven't just left the ilm. Allah says, I will take that person out of the deen, out of the fold of the deen. Tell me what a big punishment. Is this not a punishment? Is this not? So may Allah Ta'ala give us all the tawfiq, ability to appreciate. This path is very easy. I tell you this always. Tasawwuf is a very easy path. There's nothing easier than tasawwuf. The subject of tasawwuf. To attain Allah's nearness, to attain Allah's qurb, there's no easier method than tasawwuf. The path of tasawwuf. But what does an individual need here? What are the criteria for success? No need to stay awake all night long. You don't need stacks of ibadah. Nothing. You need one factor, one asset. The shaykh that Allah Ta'ala sent you to, then have pure knee intention with that shaykh. Say subhanallah. Subhanallah. End of story. Have khalis clear near with that shaykh. Clear and pure. Why? Because you've come to get Allah's love to my wali. Allah Ta'ala says. Allah says that demonstrate your love to your teacher and then you will be successful after that. So we are all students. So Allah Ta'ala says that when you go to the shaykh, demonstrate your love for the teacher. Your love for the teacher. For my wali Allah says, that, Alhamdulillah, may Allah Ta'ala make us successful. These are small points, but Allah Ta'ala explains to us, demonstrates to us that we should correct our niya and we should be extremely careful and follow this path with extreme love. Here, deceit and fraud will not work. This is a pure path. A pure path. Wa akhru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.